Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another month of Fey Freebies. This time we are kicking off November with Heroes with Ignis. Uh, and we have Brave Hector, Fallen Tiki, and Evel, who uh, still has a very depressing kit. <laughs> so I have a feeling we're not going to be prioritizing Red as our uh, first choice. Uh, between Hector and Tiki, I'm leaning more towards Hector. I think Tiki is slightly better fodder with Special Fighter, uh, but I actually use my Hector, so I think I'd rather have a merge on him. So we'll try the blue. Oh, we did get one. And uh, see if we can get him. Uh, and what have we got? What is our first summon of the month? Just a Lucas. Ah, it's not very exciting. <laughs> but we still have a whole month of free summons, so hopefully uh, that will improve. <laughs> For the rerun of Trick or Defeat, which feels just ever so slightly late, <laughs> um, uh, I'm only missing Jacob, so I guess I'll go for him. So we'll pull Colorless. Uh... It, it reminds me how excited I was to get Sakura year one, and then I barely use her nowadays. She's just so far behind. Said we got a Norn. Uh, not bad. Not bad. That's a reposition at least. Uh, but yeah, R reminder that Kitty Paddle is not refinable. That weapon is too strong, but... Uh, Look at look at the refined brave weapons and stuff, and uh, for choose your legends characters, and tell me that that's right. <laughs> uh, justice for Kitty Paddle when. All right, we've got the Tempest Trials banner uh, for the new ninja units, uh, featuring Shinon, uh, Elise, and uh, female Corin. and I'm very excited for the actual banner. This one, uh, much less so. Uh, of course, by the time you guys are seeing this, I've already definitely pulled on that for, uh, our boy Corrin. But, uh, for this particular banner, uh, I almost want to go Corrin here, uh, just because I don't have a five-star Corrin. I've at least considered building her a few times, to be honest, uh, just because I wanted a blue Corrin <laughs> that I could plus ten. Uh, but, uh, now we have a different option for that, so, uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, but I think the better option is to go colorless, uh, try and get a sheen on. Uh, I, in particular, I kind of want Time Pulse. Uh, I know he's got Deadeye, which is, like, super premium, but I kind of want to put Time Pulse on, like, Soleil. Uh, because running her, like, she, she feels so close to being good, but I feel like she's really missing the slaying aspect to get a four cooldown gale force and that would fix that kind of so considering that uh i'm also kind of interested in time pulse on the new ninja corin honestly i've i i'm i'm trying to decide how i want to build them and i think time pulse to run a similar kind of gale force set could be really funny on him um but i'm not sure so uh we'll we'll try colorless either way trying oh only got one i was i was even considering i was like maybe i'll even pull any colorless that pull up but you know what this is for the best i'm gonna need to pull spend orbs on corin so uh this is better and we just get a priscilla that's very anticlimactic but uh expected <laughs> uh whatever i've i i think i actually have uh Shinon, and i think i've got extra time pulse fodder just kind of sitting around so not a huge deal to be honest uh Lots of, uh, other things that we could, uh, use instead. Alright, we have Weekly Revival 29. Uh, don't really need any of these, uh, units. I already have all of them. Uh, I think I'd like Amelia for Armor March, uh, just in case I want to build an armor in the future and they need it. But, uh, not too torn up about getting any of these in particular. Uh, I guess Nephany could be cheap wrath fodder too but uh just don't really need any of these so uh i think we'll go green uh then blue then red uh got one green so 
go ahead and pull that one. And what have we got? What have we got? Oh, uh, that's a Sonya, I think. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not the uh, most hype pull, but I do like her. Uh, one of the uh, cooler Echoes characters. Uh, and I can just take her as a merge. Uh, plus attack minus diff. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, can't complain about that. Just gonna go ahead and uh, take that and bounce. Thank you, Weekly Revival. All right, so I was checking. I was I went to merge and I was checking, and this one's also plus attack. I think actually, like two or maybe even all of my Sonyas have been plus attack minus defense, like this exact same uh, stat spread, which is just really funny. Uh, Maybe one day I'll accidentally plus 10 her without ever actually trying, but anyway, here's a merge. Yay! There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the revival for the Seeds of Fodlin banner, which uh, would have been very tempting to spend some orbs here and there on if uh, big ol' uh, sp spending... If that big ol' splurge hadn't happened. <laughs> uh, but for now, uh, I th I really want to do merges because he's awesome and he rocks. But I think I'd get slightly more value out of pulling for Ingrid and Marianne because they have really good fodder. And of course, Linhart is not useful. I actually kind of forgot that he demoted relatively recently because I feel like I've gotten a decent number of copies. I feel like he's been in the pool longer, but I guess that's just because uh, he basically has because he has nothing that sets him apart from all the other infantry healers. So uh, he may as well have been in the pool since launch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think we're going to prioritize blue and then green, which again, it's a shame that I can't just pull those greens, but I really do need to save. Those greens are tempting because to do is just so awesome, but... We'll go for the blues instead. Uh, give us something good. Nope, just Subaki. Just Subaki. That's a swap, I guess, but... Yeah. Just a swap. Alright. Next ticket. Go. One blue. Yeah, I think... I think I'm actually kind of leaning towards wanting Ingrid a little more now, because... Uh... I'd love to toss around some uh, speed death lull. Uh, Klein would like that. Soleil would like it with her new refine. Kaze could probably use it. Uh, Ninja Corn could use it. Um, so all of them would make good use of it. And then lull attack res I could still use on like Garen and Sakura. Uh, or another unit that I'm considering. Shauna, Desperation's always nice to have, even if it's not the most exciting pull. Oh man, see these are these would be really nice if I wanted to to pull with orbs, but alas, another Subaki. And last of the free summons. Alright, top blue. What have we got? What is our ending pull? Nothing of note. Just Lara Shell, yep. Nothing of note, like I said. I was correct in my assessment. <laughs> ah, well. For this new power banner, the only one I'm missing is Tana, so I suppose we'll go for her. Uh, of course. Uh, Kaze would have been funny since I'm building him, but I already promoted all the copies that I need for that, so don't need uh, him, and we didn't get the option anyway. Cliff probably would have been my second choice uh, for Fortress Death Res, though having Green Duel Infantry might have been nice as well, uh, even though it was only the three, because then if I got another Pent, I could use uh, that to get uh, Green Duel three and then get uh, his 
uh, Green Duel 4 and something else alongside it, but instead we just got Paula. Nothing exciting. That's fine. I wasn't terribly invested in this one. All right, we have this month's Legendary Hero Remix featuring Marth and Tiki. Um, and we also have Guntra, who I already have. Um, Edelgard, who I also already have. Uh, Grima, who... <laughs> I, I feel like I might be one of the last people who's been playing as long, like, since, like, near launch and still doesn't have Grima, but, uh, wouldn't mind her. She's not, like, super high on my priority list, but I wouldn't mind her. Uh, we got Fallen Ike, uh, who is pretty solid. I was at least somewhat tempted to use my, uh, my, uh, Forma Soul on him, but, uh, mine didn't end up super amazing and I wasn't super invested in him, so... I'm just going to keep saving that for like maybe a Fates or Awakening or Three Houses character I like. Um, but he could be fun, and he has decent fodder too. Uh, we got Dimitri, who's always welcome. I could use him for fodder or uh, merge him. And we've also got Claude, same deal. Um, and Tiki, I don't actually have either, so wouldn't mind getting her, even though I hate this art. Where are her freaking teeth? It creeps me out. Um... So, I think I'm leaning either colorless or blue, and then red. Green is the last choice, uh, since I have both of those already. And fodder-wise, not super exciting. Attack res solo 4 and joint drive res. Mm, premium, but not the most exciting. So, um, thinking... Mm, do I want speed res rain and fury 4 and attack speed rain, or... Attack, Def, Unity, Joint, Hone, Attack. Um, I think I'm leaning colorless slightly, but uh, blue still wouldn't be bad. Uh, we'll take the one colorless. Um, uh, Natasha, not very exciting, but uh, I wasn't super invested in this either way anyway, so that's fine, I suppose. For Weekly Revival 39, I uh, have all of these. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards Tibarn though, just for that impact fodder. Uh, Mikoto wouldn't be bad either, well... Never mind, I guess we're going blue for Ophelia. Uh, least exciting fodder of the batch, though I guess she's a pretty solid unit, so... Still wouldn't be mad to get her. Ugh. Instead we got Eliana. Really tired of her. So tired of you. Leave me alone. Um, and we're just gonna bounce there. Don't need an Ophelia that badly, thanks. All right, we have heroes with rally skills. Pretty solid. Uh, we have Paula, who I remember being pretty dang good with her pref. Uh, and she has our dual flying, I guess, if I ever wanted to build Aversa. Ah, uh, probably not, <laughs> frankly. Attack Res Rain could be cool too, I guess. Uh, we also have Ronin, who's pretty nice with, uh, let's see, we could get his speed res rally, his swift stance, and joint drive speed all at once, huh? Uh, and I was thinking he'd be really good fodder for my, uh, Plaguey and Chris, uh, to give him a different A slot that doesn't kill him. <laughs> uh, that, that's sometimes an issue, but, um, I think he, it'd be fun just because I love my stupid, silly little mixed tanks, so that could be fun. Uh, why does he look so... He's like, he's got like a thousand yard stare going on there. I never noticed that. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's seen some shit. <laughs> and then we have Lou, uh, certainly not the most enticing unit, but rally up fodder at the worst is still not bad. Uh, but we're going to go blue, red, then green. Uh, we got two blues. Tempting to pull both blues, but we'll just go with the one. And uh, then we'll bounce. What have we got? Just a Taya. Not very exciting. That's unfortunate, but alas, I'm sure Ronan will show up again sometime in the future. And I'm sure he will look just as traumatized next time we see him. <laughs> he knows what I'm he knows what will happen if he shows up. That's what he's that's that's what that look is for. <laughs> He he fears Chris turning him into fodder. This month's new heroes banner, as predicted, is Ascended Leg Yarn. Uh, very uh, obvious choice. 
Uh, but we also have these other uh, Tellius characters who were actually leaked ahead of time. Uh, so that was also not surprising. But um, they have some interesting stuff. Uh, Leg Yarn is just loaded up with fodder. Our first tier 4 rouse skill, I think. Uh, in addition, Swift Sparrow 3 and AD Far Trace. Uh, I'd probably take the Far Trace and Swift Sparrow uh, personally. But uh, she's cool. Uh, I saw her and I was like, yo, is that Sans? <laughs> Uh, someone made a more fitting comparison to Undyne, though, and, uh, yeah, that, that's probably a better comparison. Uh, but the, the unit I'm actually most interested in here is Volk, and he has the long-awaited lethality skill, uh, which I've been, uh, expecting to show up in some form for several years now, uh, but in particular once, uh, Deadeye uh, showed up as a bow exclusive anti-damage reduction skill. Uh, I, I figured it was only a matter of time before we saw lethality with pretty much the same thing. Uh, and I would love to give this to Kaze, so this is what I am most interested in. And he also has no follow-up, which I wanted to give Kaze anyway, though Time Pulse is also pretty nifty. I could use that to guarantee that Kaze has his special up uh, after a single combat, but I figure I, I'd still rather have no follow-up. And then Sturdy Impact is still good too, but uh, yeah, most interested in this. Um, and then we've got Astrid, who <laughs> looks shockingly similar to Aira. <laughs> uh, and she's got this interesting bow that gave me some issue in uh, the story mode because she kept rallying Volk and then he was moving too far. Uh, gives uh, units extra movement, which is annoying. And uh, in bonus doubler, which is also annoying. Uh, speed def bond 4 and rally attack def is okay, but not mind-blowing fodder, though. Uh, would definitely keep her just because that support utility is really solid. And then we have uh, Marcia as the demote, and uh, she has Fury 3, but I think that's 5-star locked. Uh, which I guess is good if you really wanted speed def gap, but I would have rather had Fury with speed def gap as the five star skill personally, just because I don't really like gap skills. But uh, she's very cute. She's uh, pretty adorable. But uh, I've already got Seth as my Lance Flyer of choice, so I don't know that I need her. But we're going to go for Volk. I know I'm supposed to be saving, but I kind of want to pull any reds that show up because I'd really like to get that lethality. Uh, for Kaze, and it was really funny because I'm pretty sure that uh, the trailer dropped the same day my Kaze showcase went up, and I was just like, oh, th that's fitting. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with this one red here, and uh, try and get us a free and easy lethality. I also wouldn't mind being able to put that on uh, uh, ba -ba -ba Ninja Lin. Yeah, she could probably use it pretty well. Um, so no reds here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Our second choice was Leg Yarn. And she's colorless, I think. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, honestly. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I really want that lethality. It's very tempting to just go for it. But I really do need to save. <laughs> I am back up to 300. And also, um, uh, I spent... I was at like Max Feathers. I spent them on Kaze. And now, less than like a week later, I'm back up to almost 900,000 feathers. I get so many feathers, I, I can't spend them all fast enough. <laughs> uh, a very unique issue that I have and I don't think anyone else does. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who hoards my feathers in this way that I'm constantly at the cap and constantly trying to get rid of them but to no avail. <laughs> uh, that's okay, I've, I've got to start working on uh, Ninja Corrin soon so that'll drop us back down again. Uh, but it's just funny to me how fast those feathers accumulate. So we'll throw a few orbs here, pull the second red, get some 
Oh, yeah, it's Corrin. Not the right Corrin. Uh, you got some nerve showing up after how you wrecked my orb stash the other day. I'm a little upset about that still. Um, come on, I really want this lethality. I already have my... I already have things set up to HM farm him. I can get lethality on Kaze probably before the end of the month, which would be very exciting. But instead we got Selena with reposition that I'm pretty well stocked on right now. And we got uh, a Hannah who does not offer me anything of value. Very disappointing. Oh. Last ticket. Come on, give me... Give me Volk. I really want this lethality. Like, it's lethality and no follow-up. It was made for... for Kaze. <laughs> ah, there we go! Yes! Alright, we had to spend a few orbs to get it, but I'm happy with that. Oh, that's very exciting. Um... Minus attack, too, so I don't have to feel too bad about it. Yeah, we're gonna grab lethality, and I think no follow-up. I, I guess I... Like, Time Pulse is very tempting as well, just for that consistency, but... Uh, I can't even ask what you guys think, because I'm pretty sure this will go up after I have already foddered him for no follow-up. <laughs> so, uh, if I made the wrong choice, go ahead and tell me <laughs> in the comments below, but it will have been too late, most likely. <laughs> Sturdy Impact is interesting too, but like I already gave Kaze an impact skill. If I were going to give him something else, I think I'd want just like attack speed push or something. I don't know. Something simple and uh, effective still. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I was debating. I was like, I could try and see if w I could pull that second red and see if we get a second Volk in that summoning wheel so that I could put it on uh ninja lin but i i don't need it i he'll come back i'll have other chances to get him i'm just gonna be happy with the relatively cheap volk that we got uh very pleased with that gotta go start grinding his hero merit i guess <laughs> all right we have the in the moment rerun um i already have lin of course and i got the copy from her winning the uh uh, hero rises thing so I don't need another copy of her I've already got a copy to save for fodder uh, Levitine's fodder is kind of niche I uh, can't really think of anyone who really needs distant ward uh, and could also use attack death rain uh, so probably gonna pass on her as well although she has a pretty good unit on her own um, got Callan Kessler over here <laughs> um, I guess his sword would be funny on Soleil so that I could ditch her fire sweep sword because I'm still not in love with that thing. It's okay if you're like, yeah, it could have been so much better. Um, wish his other fodder was more enticing though. Like, if he had Ninja Katana and like Time Pulse, that'd be very enticing, but obviously way too good, right? <laughs> Especially for a unit from like a year ago. Uh, maybe now we might see a demote with something like that. And then we got Navar. I think I want him. Uh, I could put the Ninja Yari on someone, maybe. Uh, it'd be funny on Ninja Corrin, but I don't know. Uh, you could also give Flashing Blade 4 and Lull Speed Def. Lull Speed Def would actually be good on Soleil, but she doesn't really need Flashing Blade 4 because her Refine, uh, kind of does that already, but only on player phase, so maybe she could use it, I guess, but I'm, I'm leaning towards blue. Um, we got one. We'll pull it. Uh, I don't want to merge uh, Lin because her HP would go up too high and then she'd be not as good for Wings of Mercy. Said we got Donald. Well, he's got a Brave Lance, so I guess that fits. <laughs> uh, whatever. I wasn't too invested in that one. All right, for Weekly Revival 30, I think I'm just going to go for a Lucina. Mer well, uh, Ike is a lot more enticing than Gray, even though I don't really use Ike and I have several copies just sitting there. Uh, I'd still rather see him than Gray because, like, I'm not going to use Gray ever. Instead, we got a Python. Uh, not very exciting by any means. <laughs> Though I did end up using him for Kaze fodder, so I guess uh, maybe I'll use him again one day. Probably not. <laughs>
Next up, we have the return of Double Special Heroes a bit earlier than expected, uh, apparently for Black Friday, which I guess makes sense. Uh, they're selling some fancy bundles so that now everyone can have my worst nightmare, Legendary Krom. Pay to win. And I really do mean win. I hate that guy. <laughs> anyway, uh, this banner looks pretty solid uh, for the wrong reasons. Uh, Ash is back. I was hoping he would be later because I wanted to save up for him. <laughs> but he came early, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, and he is joined by Leon. Not the best blue unit he could share with, but I guess it, uh, at least I like Leon, so it's like not the worst either. Uh, but definitely could have been a better unit. Uh, we also have Severa, who's really solid on red. And uh, young Erica and Ephraim on red as well. Uh, could get an old follow up fodder for someone, maybe. <laughs> uh, and then on green, we have uh, Duo Keda. Uh, could put Flow Refresh on Seth, that'd be funny. Uh, we also have Inigo, well, a little less exciting. Uh, tech Speed Rain, I guess. Uh, what does Springy Bow do again? Um, oh, that's not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. Um, and then on Colorless, we have Saul, who I guess could give Forest C Duel 4 or Odd Recovery or something. That could be kind of fun. Uh, and we have Vika, who is not very interesting to me. Uh, not wild about beast units. Uh, don't like her fodder, so colorless definitely the lowest priority. I think we're going to go blue, red, green, and then colorless as the last resort. Um, and we have five free summon tickets, which is nice to go, go for Ash. And even though I'm supposed to be saving, I think I'll pull any blues just for the chance of Ash. Uh, after all, I am saving for Ash and Byleth. Uh, but so since this is the Ash stash, I guess it doesn't hurt to try and pull some copies of him. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start with this one blue. Unfortunately, I was hoping for more, but I guess uh, on the plus side, we get to save some orbs. Just an Odin. Not very exciting. Not very exciting, but at least it's a Moonbow that I don't have to spend feathers on, so that's nice. Another one with only one blue, unfortunately. Come on, Ash. Where is our baby boy? No. Wrong Lance Cav. Uh, yeah, I, I want normal Ash more, but I will happily take Summer Ash. He's very adorable, and still only one blue. They really don't want me to have Ash, uh, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Come on. No, wrong Lance Cav. Not a cute one. Not even adorable in the slightest. Although I guess the hair is about the right color. <laughs> okay, two blues. Um, come on, Ash. No. Wrong. Incorrect. Please leave. Depart at once. Or I'll pluck all the feathers from your Pegasus. Just a big old big eyed jigglypuff tail to you. No thank you. Last two tickets. Ooh, three blues this time. Okay. Come on, Ash. Ash. Ah. No. No, 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 Donnie boy. Not right. Ah, you again. No, I'm tired of seeing you. So many copies. Oh, I do not need a plus 20 Ileana. <laughs> Just not a thing I need. Oboro. Also not very exciting. Not very helpful. And last of the tickets. Alright, three blues for Ash. Nope. Another disappointing Oboro.
Oh, uh, not Ash, but, uh, got an Ishtar. That's cool, I guess. Could have free Swift Sparrow fodder. <laughs> Probably just gonna merge, uh, plus speed. Uh, yeah, Swift Sparrow, not as in demand anymore, so probably just gonna take the, the free merge. Uh, cool, but still not who I wanted. Ah. Well, that's disappointing. We didn't even get a Leon with it, so. Uh, sad. Tempting to go for more, but, uh, call it while we're ahead. Take the free Ishtar, I guess, and just lament the fact that Ash came here a little too early. I'm sorry, baby boy. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Better yet, just bring your bring your regular version. I want that one more. With the bow. The awesome bow. For Heroes with Bonfire, we got Na, Rinka, and the bane of everyone's existence, Edelgard. <laughs> Uh, with that said, I think that's who we're gonna go for. She's just, uh, a, a little bit, a smidge better than the other units on the banner. You know, just a, just a tiny bit. Just ever so slightly. We'll, we'll pull this colorless. I'm almost tempted to pull both the colorless, but, uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll just pull this one here. We'll get some bad, eh, yeah, it's Merlinus. You know what? That, that's almost as good as Edelgard. You know, tier list, S, S tier, Edelgard. A plus Merlinus. I mean, it's a fodder tier list, but you know, I didn't specify that it was a, a combat tier list. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That that other colorless is kind of tempting. All right, I, I I very much debated it, but I've managed to uh, resist. That that other colorless was really tempting though, <laughs> just to have her, uh, just because. What a stupid unit. <laughs> What a stupid unit. Alright, I'm pretty tired from grinding Hero Merit, but just in case you thought I was joking about getting this done in time to have Kaze have lethality uh, for this month's Mythic Hero Battle, uh, we have done it. There he goes. Too late. Don't tell me that I should have taken time pulse instead, because <laughs> it is done. Kaze has... Kaze is ready to go forth and kill. <laughs> All right, we have the Paula and Katria battle focus here. Uh, I think this might be the worst banner of the year. Why didn't they use, like, the the upgraded Valentian versions? Like, those are better. <laughs> this is, like, I don't want to be lucky on this banner. This banner is just not good. <laughs> I guess I could get a Katria and replace that killer lance that I've been holding on to since, like, very early, like, year one. I've had that killer lance sitting there, and I gave it to Ninja Corn. finally. I guess I could get it back. <laughs> um, between them, uh, I wish I wish Ascendant Leg Yarn was in the pool. I could try for a colorless just on the hope that I get her instead, but I guess we'll go blue. I don't really want any of these. Give me give me something else. Give me an Azura merge for, for free, please. No, just an Effie. Yeah, you know what? I'm about as excited for that as I would have been for a five-star focus here. <laughs> Thank you, Faye. That is... That sure is a banner, guys. This is a banner in the year of 2021. <laughs> is it 2021? All right, we have this month's voting gauntlet. Uh, Sound Tactics Banner 1 and 2. Uh, feels like we don't get uh, two banners for voting gauntlets as much anymore. Um, but... Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, we got, like, performing characters, even though we didn't get a performing arts banner this year, and I'm sad about that still. But, uh, for this first banner, not super interested in it. Uh, I guess I'd rather have Subasa for that armored and cavalry effectiveness over, uh, another Tethys, uh, that I could already easily merge, or Mamori, who does not have anything that exciting. Um, and on this one... I like all of these. I actually wish, uh, I wish I could like swap Nils over to this one, uh, so I could pull for blue on with Nils and then have another chance at one of these two. But, uh, I like all three of these. Um, I have Fina already, so, uh, and I have Nils already, but I do like Nils a lot. He's one of my favorites from, uh, Blazing Blade. 
Uh, but I don't have Lorem, and she's pretty rare, but I think I'd still kind of prefer Nils. So I think we'll go blue on both, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start with this blue one here. And then on the other one, I wouldn't mind uh, Fino or Lorem, but I'm going to go for Nils on that one. And what do we got? Ferdy Birdie. Uh, not too exciting, but that's a reposition at least, so not too bad either. And on this one, uh, I think we'll go Nils, then Lorem, then Fina. So let's see. We got one blue, so that's what we'll take. Come on, Nils. Nils, Nils, Nils. Ah, well, we got a blue dragon, just not the correct one, unfortunately. Uh, alas, maybe next time. And for this weekly revival, uh, we are going to go for Surter, I think. Uh, none of these are terrible. They all have at least some kind of utility for me, but uh, Surter's the only one I don't have, so we'll go for him. Uh, nope, no greens. Uh, between blue and colorless... Uh, I guess I'd slightly lean towards blue, uh, but uh, it's fine. Uh, and what do we got? No, the Demon Altana has returned again. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, that aside, uh, I'm actually pretty excited, but also very tired. Uh, I think I actually managed to get all the videos I had planned for this month, aside from obviously this uh, free summon compilation, as always, and then the Mythic Hero ba battle. Uh, but everything else I managed to get done, so uh, hooray! <laughs> Just finished the uh, Corrin video today, so uh, a little excited about that. And to close out the month, we have Etri and Thor's banner. Uh, both of them green, and not the duo that uh, I was expecting. I kind of thought we'd have Itri and Fafnir, but uh, I guess this works. Mm. Uh, so, both of them seem pretty solid, not must-have units for me. Um, I'm most interested in Flow Guard here, uh, which, like Flow Refresh, is kind of a half-null follow-up for Cavalry and Flyer units, and I think it could be good on Sedith. I was hoping... When I saw Flow Guard, I was kind of hoping that it would be the other half of Null Follow-Up that prevents enemy guaranteed follow-up attacks. Um, I think that would synergize with Guard slightly better. Um, I'd like that on, like, Xander, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but as it stands, I think this one would be better on, like, Sedith. Maybe Chris. Chris can kind of mix tanks, so I guess he could maybe use the, the Guard, too. But, um, yeah. Overall, mostly just for that uh, follow-up prevention effect uh, to to make sure that you get your doubles in. Uh, so I would probably want it on set of Chris. Those are the main two that come to mind that I would consider giving it to. But uh, also comes with attack def push four. Not the best A slot, but not a bad one by any means. Uh, and then Itri has attack res solo four, which is kind of all right, I guess. A kind of similar thing. Not the best A slot, but could definitely see some use. Uh, and then attack Res Rain. Uh, I don't have anyone who particularly needs that combo at the moment, but could be good. I'd probably just hang on to her, though. Uh, they're sharing with Dagger, who uh, has attack speed push 4, and even Tempest could save a copy of her. Uh, I actually have a copy already. Uh, and then on our other colors, we have Note uh, with attack speed menace, and DC could be good. Uh, Double Dimitri with Impact and Odd Tempest and Attack Speed Solo and Odd Tempest. Uh, just kind of funny that they decided to stack both Dimitris together. Um, and then Colorless, we have Bramimond, who I'd actually really like, but uh, he's with Micaiah, who I don't really need, and Korn, who also don't really need. Neither of them have fodder that really excites me. And then uh, Red, we have Moose Spell, uh, Dragon Wall fodder for Garen. Other than that, probably wouldn't use him too much. Uh, Plumeria, kind of old, but uh, still pretty decent. Could you put Push and Res Rain on someone, I guess, but probably just merge her. Uh, and then Sigurd uh, would probably put Fatal Smoke on Kaze, to be honest. That'd be kind of funny. But um, yeah, we're going to just free pull the green and then bounce. Uh, somehow I managed to avoid spending... Ooh, that second green is kind of tempting, but I don't need it. Uh, somehow managed to avoid spending too many orbs this month. Uh, 
So what have we got? What have we got? Oh, just a Balthy. <laughs> uh, he really likes to show up. I've pulled a good number of him. Uh, not who we wanted, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just take that and leave. So that brings an end to this month of free summons. Didn't spend that many uh, orbs this month outside of the uh, Corrin banner, of course. Uh, and got pretty lucky. We got, I think, three five stars from this one. We had the Sonya merge, the Ishtar merge, and then, of course, the Volk, uh, who was the main thing that I wanted. So, uh, can't complain about that by any means. Uh, pretty solid this month. Pretty solid. Uh, and uh, kind of a separate note, but uh, I was recently on Swift Seas, Who Wants to Be a Failionaire? Uh, so you should go check that out. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll link that at the end and down below. Uh, but thank you guys, as always, for watching. Joining me on another month of free summons. Uh, best of luck to you guys on your summons, free or otherwise. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out.